Hey everybody, good morning. It's uh, February 8th and um, just had a few rambling thoughts. It seems like that's what I have these days, rambling thoughts. Um, remember I used to talk about the, it, so, it sounds so ominous, the spiral of death. Um, but in a way, think about it. Um, as people age, uh, they become a little bit less active unless they force themselves not to be. Um, they become a little less active and with a little less activity they burn less calories they might put on a little bit of weight um, and the demand their body's demand for calories become less um, so they eat less um, and in an overall sense if they eat less they eat less good food um, that, that kind of feeds the notion that become less active and they put on more weight and then they start to become the couch potato, um, eat a lot of junk, um, put on weight, age faster because they're not getting the nutrition that they should be getting. Um, and I call it that not, not to poke fun at it at all, but I see people age they age more quickly they'll hit 50 and all of a sudden you know they might look 55 and or someone will be 60 years old but they've aged beyond 60 um, I've always taken pride in the fact that I don't look my age and of course now with cancer and everything that tends to not be the case at least I think I feel like I'm aging a little faster now because chemo did not allow me to um, to work out as hard and as fast as I wanted to or as often as I wanted to um, and of course my diet took a little bit of a nosedive for a couple weeks but that's back on track now but um, the point is is that if you can continue your activity if you can push yourself beyond your perceived limitations if you can feed that activity with a good diet um, you can certainly you can certainly slow the aging process and the same with um, the same with cancer now we that's aging now cancer is something completely different um, you know children have cancer so with that um, I see a lot of people that get this this horrible disease and they um, immediately think you know it's their death knell it's you know they're on their way out or what have you so they stop trying they stop trying to be active they stop trying to have fun they stop trying to eat well they give up um, and as they stop trying all of these things the aging process again takes hold and the cancer even takes hold and um, begins to accelerate um, that disease, the disease being either aging or, or cancer or whatever. So once again, my point is, and will always be, um, stay as active as your body can possibly handle. And if you have some kind of a perception that, um, that that you can't do something without trying and you don't want to even try it because just it's blowing your mind like it, you can't go beyond that a certain point um, I urge you to go beyond that certain point and test yourself and you might surprise yourself I'm pretty sure you will but then also remember once you go beyond your self-imposed limitations um, be sure to feed that in a nutritional way. Feed it with an extra meal a day. Feed it with um, some extra berries, uh, perhaps uh, a protein shake. There's some great um, protein sources out there that, that you can get um, in GNC or in Amazon or what have you. Great sources of nutrition that um, will help to feed your ambitions of, um, of moving more and 
getting more done and um, even even will help your ambitions so I guess my message for today as I pull up to my gym is um, push yourself push yourself and then feed yourself to accommodate your goals all right don't let up because if you give up then your body will give up and um, we can't have that all right so I'm here I'm ready ready to train my client this morning and um, after her I'll be doing a, a short workout and then I have to have go uh, I have to go have blood work done um, and who knows maybe I'll wind up back here a little later so get it done today Wednesday February 8th get it done uh, no letting up I'll see you later bye